Hello everybody, Arodanskia and welcome back to the 25th world, the silver case. Yeah, okay, let's go. Yeah, I'm moving the microphone. Alright, so let's continue with the game guys, come on. Yeah, the last time, as you remember, we finished with this case called Digital Man, yeah. So now we are gonna enter into the side case, where Tsuki and Osato are, yeah. Okay, now we're gonna enter into the matchmaker and let's go to the lunar orbit. Go! Oh! Wow! Japanese characters? What is this? Alright. Ha! Oh! Uh, ha! Ha! Just ha ha ha! What the hell? Ha ha ha, yeah I knew it, come on, talk! Ugh, this game, look at these guys! Yeah, 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 come on, talk, what the fuck is going on? Oh, Suki, sorry, I'm late. Is this a dojo or something? Okiai Gumi Office. Oh, Okiai, Yukai Syndicate? Took you long enough, Suki. Okay, this is a flashback, right? Yeah, because you remember this guy? Yeah, in the last time in about Nighthawk. He he has the word to he has the word to kill Suki. Yeah, this is the time when uh, and Suki works for the Yokai Syndicate, right? Let's see. Sorry boss. Okay, look at this, yeah. Look at Suki. He doesn't have his his barb. Oh, oh, right? Well, he was a bit jammed. But it's snowing like a bastard outside. I could barely move. Hmm. Fucking idiot. You need more strength. Strength. Hmm. Yeah, he's a tall guy, right? It's all that man blank bullshit. Eating crap like that all the time. No, no wonder you are so weak. So this guy ate, ate man blank back then? <laughs> Just like Osato. <laughs> Like a wet little snowflake. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Ishiki, that was the name of that guy, right? Ishiki. So, how was it? They cleared out. Just as Shinigo said. Mm, yeah, I remember that. I remember Shinigo. Even the uh, Mihama Syndicate, huh? A Mihama Syndicate? Maybe their competition, right? Looks like we are the only syndicates left. Hmm. So what are we going to do now? Same as always. Conquer the world? <laughs> Sorry. We are not like other syndicates. We've been here doing our thing since the beginning. We can't just say, oh, okay, and up and disappear. Just because the government says no. Yeah, you're right. And the big man is all angry too. We need to support him and protect the syndicate. Hmm. Right? Yes. Okay. Now then. Shinigo should be here soon. Oh, okay. Uh, excuse me for a moment, guys. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna turn down the volume a little. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. Come on. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a bit. Boss, what sort of meeting is this today? No idea. All I heard is that Shinigo wants to talk the top gun to the top gun to the top guys Shinigo as, um, as mysterious as always right yeah really I really just can't stand that asshole I can't understand why the big man would bring some dick like that on a as advisor no oh, all right can I move this no is just too damn much I really don't want to go back out there all right, let's talk then. <laughs> Shinigo has a different aura about him than everyone else. Yeah, he creeps me out. The look in his eyes. Oh, Shinigo, who creeps you out? Oh, oh, hello. Um, nobody. <laughs> I see. So it's everyone here. They are waiting for you. Uh, you're us in the back. Okay, why don't we start then, Ishiki? Uh-huh. Hey, Tsuki. Yes? 
This is no time to be lying around eating Mont Blanc. <laughs> Eat some rice crackers or something. The really hard ones. Oh my god, understood. Okay. Alright, let's move. Uh, rice crackers, is that supposed to tongue me up? Yeah, that's the thing I wonder about, you know? <laughs> anyway. I don't know what the hell is going on in their minds, you know? Let's move. Them, ah, pa, come on. Okay, let's talk them. Oh, oh, anyway, uh, look, I guess I just have to wait until the meeting is over. Maybe I'll have some of them rice crackers. Ah, uh, alright, talk, nothing, move. Then this is now in Anjada. what is this, the North Pole? <laughs> oh my god. Come on, uh, just look. Come on, dude, what is it? Oh, uh, look at this. Oh, fuck. Come on. God damn. Move. I don't like when the game uh, makes you press a lot of bullshit. What the hell? Come on, let's go continue with the story. Damn, the pizza is really warming this place up. Uh-huh. I'm getting so sleepy. Yeah, me too, because the story doesn't continue. Come on. Shit, it's too late. I'm gonna fall asleep. Yeah. She is gonna be peace. Peace. Yeah, so peace off. The fuck are you doing? Yeah, we are doing nothing, motherfucker. I'm sorry, sorry. I don't know how it happens. I just, I was just about to eat those rice crackers. This guy was, was such a noob. <laughs> Damn. Huh? Ishiki's voice is coming from the back. How am I supposed to accept that? You son of a bitch. Oh, hey Tsuki, okay, he's going to punish you then, right? Yes, we are going, get the car. Okay. Hmm, fucking Shinigo. Oh my god. Oh, Club Marine Blue? And why is this, is this place has, uh, does this place have the... Oh, na oh, Shiki, oh. Look at this beautiful one, man. She's so so cute. Oh, okay, sorry, but I mean, why does this place have the the background music from the the jackhammer? Well, it's not the jackhammer right any, anymore, but anyway, you're pretty early today. Hmm, yeah, pretty early, and you're a pretty one, baby girl. Okay, sorry, fuck. Yeah, Suki-san, come in. Hey, hello. What's the matter? You both look so gloomy today. Kinda. Mm, yeah. Give me a bottle. Okay. Okay, let's look this beauty. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Come on, let's talk. Suki. Yes. How long it's been since you joined up this us with us? This is my fourth year. Oh, I see. It's already been four years, huh? When we first met, you were just a hothead little scrapper. But you come a long way since then. Thank you. Back then, you were just a fan who lost, lost, out, lost out randomly at whoever. Oh. You even picked a fight with me once. Oh. And you beat the shit off me. <laughs> but once you took me in, I found like meaning in life, I guess you could say. Anyway, you really made a difference from me. Meaning in the life of the gangster, huh? It's a pretty hard knock existence, huh? Well, haha, <laughs> yeah. Suki, yes. This whole area is about to become the 25th world. Alright, so let's see. Okay, yeah, because look at that, the title. Look at the title, it's 24th world. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm, but I mean, what year uh, are we right now? Yeah. Which year are we right uh, in no nowadays? We're... okay, sorry. But I mean, uh, is this 1999? Is that so? That means that we are in the, in the play, in the time when... When the, the Kamui, the coming from the 90s, uh, was alive, right? Yeah, remember when we were in the huge, huge crime units in the silver case? Maybe, I don't know. 
because the, the thing that didn't show me a date anyway. The town is changing really fast. The times, the times are changing, I guess. The ups and downs are pretty rough, you know? Smaller syndicates like ours got toes around a lot. But, whatever may, may change, whoever we may, what we may move, and whoever thought it may get, we will protect the OKI okay Syndicate crest. I owe a hell of a lot to the big man. I will protect him no matter what I have to do. That's what I do. Yes. You can go home for today. Huh? No, but... It's okay. Hmm? Why do you want this guy to go home early? Do you want do you want to have some business with the little one, the little girl, the cute girl here? Yeah. This motherfucker. I think he wants to get her, right? Maybe he wants to fuck her later. Ah, fuck! Damn it! Just go. Suki-san, it looks like the snow has stopped, and Ishiki-san is telling you to go. This bitch. I mean, you want to get his cock, uh, Ishiki's cock? So I will take it from here, okay? Okay, I will go in then. Oh, this motherfucker! Okay, I knew it. This, these two are, are in, uh, are in, uh, are going to do something dirty, right? Oh damn, they're up of something. What the fuck? <laughs> so the big man, his health isn't doing so well. Oh, yeah. He isn't gonna be dying anytime soon, but he's been confined to bed recently. Oh, did you hear about Amihama? Yes, a forensic tail splits up. It's no just Amihama. Lots of guys who, who have planted their roots here and have been working for years, they've been getting scoped up by the government and disappearing left and right. Looks like guys like us are just in the way in the 25th world. Doing anyway with everything like that, I don't think that's the way to go. Oh, a phone? Shinigo, you talk too much. No way, in hell, I'm gonna wait too. What? What is it? Okay, let's hear what you have to say. In 20 minutes? Okay. You have to be somewhere? Yeah, I know. You look troubled. Are you okay? I don't think so, but okay. I'm, I'm always like this. Yeah, look at his his face. Man, he looks so pissed off all the time. Well, I thought they were fucking or, or something like that. Yeah, I saw, sorry, sorry. Yeah, have a little mind. Yeah, sorry, guys. I will come again. Uh, see you later, baby girl. Everything is getting crazy and crazy. Mm -hmm. The town, the people. I wonder if it can even be a stop at this point. Mm, but you know, a lot of weird shit happens in this fucking area. Next day. Mm -hmm. Okay, Gumi office. Mm. Oh. Oh, hi. Oh. Uh. Hey. Yeah, what is it? Shinigo. Hey, Suki. Hello. I was just looking for you. I need to I need you to do some me a favor. Oh, uh, but it's fine, go. You're the only one here to do it. Hmm, okay, I understand. It's nothing big. It won't take much time. You know our syndicate's warehouse down by the bar, bay, right? Go put this package there. Okay. What is in what is in it? None of your damn business. <laughs> with drugs? I don't think so, but anyway. Sorry. Just messing with you. Uh, it's a joke. You really think I get that mad? There's nothing important inside. Just some designer back I took as payment for a debt. Really? Are you serious? I will get in the way if I leave it at the office, so I thought if I stick in the warehouse. Take it there for me, alright? Okay, I'll be back. Yeah. Oh, 
someone is taking them. Is doing them all. Heidi, oh. Yeah, I remember this motherfucker, Heidi. Yeah, the trans translator, right? Suki's on his way there now. How is it going? You ready? I see. Okay, get it done right. So that's what's going on, Ishiki. What the hell are you gonna do, bastards? Huh? Anyway, let's just wait for the result the results. He will play the part for us nicely. Good damn, they made they they make the they made Suki as their kind of pick? What the fuck? He will do us right. These fucking bastards. Oh my god. Alright, where are we going? Hmm, Harbo. Alright, yeah. Okay, we are here. Let's go. Mm hmm. Yeah, way. Come on, just go. Oh, damn it, this game, though. Warehouse, yeah, here. Hear this. Mm hmm. Let's get this over with. Alright, look. It's been a while since I've been to the warehouse. Oh, really? Uh huh. Uh, nothing? Just move? What is it? Huh? What? I forgot the key. Oh my god. Damn it. They're gonna get pissed if I go back for it. Oh fuck. Now you're in trouble. What are we gonna do then? Uh, look. Let's see. Shit. Oh yeah, the key panel. Yeah, here I think we are gonna do a puzzle, hard, right? There it is. I can just enter the pink number here to open it. Awesome. That was close. Mm, yeah, what? What was the number again? Oh my god. Oh, fuck, come on. I mean, I have any information about a number or something to put this shit, right? The number was four digits, all right? Damn it, I'm getting frustrated and can't remember it. Then I write it down on a memo somewhere. Memo. Memo. Oh yeah, I wrote it in the memo in my phone. Oh, come on, you don't scare me. Just look at your shit. Is this it? Five nine October. All right, five nine October. A date. This is a number. Ah, oh, I get it. Yeah, what is it? Oh. Yes, it's easy. Yeah, 5 9 October, right? Uh, 5 9 October is 10. What is it? Yeah, 1 0. Yeah, that's right. Uh huh. Yeah. That was pretty easy, though. Come on, dudes. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that stupid, you know? <laughs> Sorry. Yes. That took some time. I need to drop this stuff off and hurry back. Alright, let's get into it. What we got? Mmm, this place looks so empty, you know? Okay, I got me warehouse. This is pretty heavy for a handbag. Mm, I wonder what the what kind of shit the this this thing got inside. You are late. Yeah, the translator, right? Hey, Heidi. Where's your grandpa? Ah, <laughs> sorry. You alone? Who the hell are you? Yeah, look at this motherfucker. He's a Gucci. Hey, now that what's this? Who the hell business? Oh, okay. You are another character, but who the hell are you? You're Suki, right? How the fuck do you know my name, huh? What the hell are you talking about? Your boss told you to come here, right? For the deal. The deal? Yeah, I knew it. Hey, 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 hold up, hold up. You came not knowing anything? 
Yeah, for some reason these fucking bastards sent him here. I'm here for the dope. Yeah, I knew it. This shit has drugs, right? These fucking bastards. The dope? The fuck is kind of bullshit are you spewing anyway? My syndicate doesn't deal with shit like dope. What? You guys were the ones who attacked me? What? Huh. What is in the box? A handbag. Really? That's what it was sold. Did you check inside? No. <laughs> How about you open that up for me? I got no reasons to open this thing on you others. I'm sick of your bullshit. Open the goddamn boss or you're gonna see blood. Oh my god, this fucking motherfucker. Bring it. Ah, oh my god, he's so tall. I like to see you try. Freeze. Oh. Who is it? Shinkai Tsuki of Yokai Syndicate. And that's Junji Isoguchi over there, right? This is the police. Oh my god, okay. Oh fuck, the police. <laughs> The cops! Oh, it's a Gucci. Hey, what's, what the hell is this? I don't know. Don't move. I'm gonna check out the, that box you got there. What the hell is happening? This is a trap. Wow. This is just chock full of shit, isn't it now? Yeah, look at this. I knew it. These fucking bastards. They are sick. You're selling drugs to other to others in the case or something like that? What the fuck? What? What the hell is this? The test checks out. It's definitely the real thing. Nice. Everyone here is under arrest for viol violation of the Narcotics Drugs Control Act. Oh my god. Secure them all. Suki, hey? What the fuck? I have no idea. How should I? I don't know what the hell is this is. Don't resist. Hold him down. Oh fuck. Yeah, they are forcing him. Why? How did this happen? This son of a bitch has sent you here, dude. Oh my god. Fuck. I'm not... Just gonna... Get pinched. Oh, okay. They drug him, right? And go quietly. Yeah. It's a fucking son Nifer, right? Damn. Yeah. You're gonna sleep for some time, dude. So you were arrested? Yeah. They drug my ass in. Oh! Alright. Look at this. Osato. You got to the screw over, huh, Suki san? Okay, Suki is this guy, right? The oh, okay, yeah, this is the Suki. The the guy who is in the in the floor is on the floor is Suki, the the young one, right? And Suki, the one, the the, the old Suki is here with Osato, right? Yeah. So it's like Suki is is looking at his old self, right? Okay, I get it. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, yup, totally. I have a question. What? Hmm. What actually happens if you drop the soap? Oh? Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, you get it. Oh my god. <laughs> so then Osato thinks that he got raped in the on prison? Oh my god. <laughs> I will leave that to your imag imagination. Oh fuck. Poor Tsuki. They're raking in that shit, right? Oh man. Oh, 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 god damn, this is so fucked up, dudes. Oh my god, yeah, I feel bad for Suki. The Lunar Orbit, alright. Yeah, the title. Damn, what introduction, this was pretty long. Yeah, I think we did the fall part of the video, I don't know. <laughs> oh, we are here in the car. October 13, 4 a.m. Car, yeah? We are here in the car, what the fuck game? Hmm, so where are we going? Oh, Osato, so what happened after that? You wanna keep talking? <laughs> I'm sleepy as hell. Come on, I didn't just save you back there in the night. Oh yeah, 
I shouldn't put it this way, but I cannot use Sable, right? Okay, so this, this, uh, we are here in the day when the Osato save, save Suki, right? Yeah, we're still here, after the above Night Hall. Mm, anyway, but I don't know if this thing is connected with the, the case we did the last time, yeah, with Digital Man, I don't know. So, you know, please, go on. Yeah, okay, I'm fine. Well, after getting pinched, I was totally dumbfounded. Mm -hmm. On top of the fact that Shinigo set me up. Ishiki must be known about Shinigo's plan. He was acting kinda strange that day. And he and Shinigo hate each other. But he seems totally fine with Shinigo sending me to the warehouse and all. Mmm, alright. Anyway, I have no idea why, but I was basically screwed by Ishiki too. That's the, was the worst part. But getting arrested turned out to be sort of a blessing since that sent the okay syndicate over the edge to split up, right? Yeah. Both for that Shinigo guy and that Ishiki guy, it brought them nothing but negative results, right? So I don't get why they sent you up. Yeah, because they want, to, they want him to fuck him up, fucking up, dude. Come on. They didn't want that shit because they wanted they, they want their ass to save it. Ha. Huh. I had no idea either. But I heard later on, apparently Isoguchi had a dope hop cup, and Shinigo was after that. The syndicate's financial situation was pretty dire back then. Mm -hmm. For reason they were, they were selling drugs, right? Because of the government's getting involved, they were losing power in their own territory. They were basically one step away from going under completely. So, and this is just an assumption, but. I'm pretty sure Shinigo said something about making money off the syndicate's bolts or whatever and convinced Ishiki and the Hygros up to go along with it. An assumption, huh? To think that Ishiki needs money so badly, he gets involved with drugs. Mm hmm, yeah. No, he only ever thought about protecting the syndicate. He may not have had any other, any other options. So what happened after that? <clears throat> oh, oh, I was taken in by a guy named Daigo Naksume. Oh, yeah, I remember this guy, Daigo Naksume. Yeah. This was... This was Kusabi's partner, I remember him. Yeah, his old partner, and then they, he was my, my boss. Yeah, remember in the silver case, he was the boss of this, uh, these special forces, yeah? I remember in Inomata, um, Sakamoto, yeah, yeah, those guys. All right, this is cool. Yeah, and he was the father of Sakura Natsume. Mm -hmm. I joined a certain military unit. Okay, so you were, you belonged to the special forces back then. Oh my god! It was called Republic. Mm -hmm, yeah, I remember that. That van, just remember the van the, in the first episode of Silver Case in Lunatics? Oh man, but I mean, uh, my character Arrow Dance was there too, so he met him? I wonder. Oh, oh, I know Republic. They're like the special forces of the public safety department, right? Yeah, I heard they were established to go up against the HC unit. Mmm, so-so, but I think they work together, because you I remember when we were the, doing that shit in Cauliflower, yeah, in the in the first episode, well, it was the, the, the K0, yeah, Lunatics, anyway. Ah, oh, maybe that's why there was no use arguing about it, so I joined up, I had no choice, hmm. but I'm grateful, I was just an empty shield of my men, and Republic pretty much brought me back to life. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Inomata Sakamoto. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, the same guy. The, my partners. I remember them. Also. Okay, also. Huh? What? Arrodance. Who was it? Okay, yeah. He's trying to remember my character. Yeah, but you know, in Silver Case, you can put the, uh, that character uh, any name you want. Yeah, I put my character as Arrodance. So, yeah. So, he, re he started to remember my character. Oh my god, okay, he knows 
Inamoto Inomata and Sakamoto back then. But we didn't see him. We didn't see this guy in in the silver case. What the fuck? That quiet guy. He was kind of a chinchilla. Ah, oh, you remember? <laughs> he like, like just like Kusabi. Come on. Yeah, the chinchilla. I remember him. <laughs> yeah, I'm the chinchilla dude. Arrogance. But I didn't know you. What the fuck are you, were you? Huh? Chinchilla? <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Whatever. Ah. Uh, anyway, I trained with three other guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But. Yeah. I end up getting hurt really badly due to a screw up in training. Okay, for the reason we didn't see you in the in the cauliflower uh, operation, right? Yeah. Hmm. I had to temporarily leave then the unit. All right. Oh, yeah. For the reason we didn't see him in the silver case. Okay, that's a pretty good uh, back backstory, you know? Yeah. They try to connect the, the story of the silver case with this shit. That's great. Cool. And while I was rehabilitation, you know about the incident in the woods, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, in it was in the Koiman, in the Koiman case from the silver case. When Inom Inomata and Sakamoto died. But Daigo Natsume, my boss, was alive. You remember him. When they tried to capture Kamui. Aha, uh -huh, that's right. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and Republic ends up getting fucked up. Mm -hmm. My connection with Kamui stems from that. But my character uh, joins to the, each, the joins the each HC unit. Yeah, no wonder. Sugisan always gave off a different vibe when talking about Kamui. Mm -hmm. Again, I felt totally displaced. I had nowhere to go. That's when he reached out to me. You mean Chief Kiryu? Mmm, alright. Now these guys. Of course, yeah. The guys from the bureau. So that's what's happened. Everyone has their own history. Huh? Yeah. That's cool. Is that enough then? What? Can I sleep now? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. And thanks. Go ahead and sleep. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. But... What the hell? Yeah, what? Come on, dude. Just leave him sleep. He got a pretty fucked up night. Yeah, he got a pretty bad time tonight. Come on. We're almost there. Ah, uh, all right. No sleeping is part of the job, I guess. Mm, yeah. What the hell do you mean? Yeah, Christ. Barshinigo. <laughs> Ishiki. I made a promise to the ship. To kill the pass. Hmm, just like Kamui, right? Yeah, Kamui's world. Kill the pass. But I I wasn't able to kill it all the way. Oh man. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, we are here in the bureau. Regional adjustment bureau. Yeah. 10 30 a.m. At the bureau. Excuse me. Chief's office. Hey boss. I got Nango's report. Alright, what is it? I see. I see. I had considered the possibility that we might have a leak. But I had assumed it would be someone, someone from a peripheral agency, not our own bureau. I underestimated the situation. Sorry. It's not your fault. I was just who were in the field together with, Sata <coughs> with Sasatani, sorry. We weren't able to work out what he was actually doing. Mm -hmm, yeah, that fucking traitor. <coughs> Our responsibility in the matter is much greater than yours. We are gonna we are gonna follow up on this investigation here. Okay. Also, regarding the romance of the Okiai Syndicate, you said you would kill your past. Hmm. But somehow you always had this shadow of days long gone over you. And now that past has come back to life. Yeah. Suki. 
Look hard and carefully at that pass. Once you got it clearly in your sights, erase it. Yeah. Understood. Yeah, come on, dude. You're living a new life. So you have to forget these motherfuckers and kill them. Okay, then. It's time for your next job. Oh, Tokyo Morishima. That's his name, right? Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. Now we have the job to kill Morishima. Oh, my God. Don't do that, please, D. He's my dude. Even though he's a fucking uh, asshole, but I love him. <laughs> Sorry. He's a reporter by trade. According to the material materials received from our Intel anal analysis guys, he's got quite the interest in resume. Resume. Why was he marked for adjustment? Mm. Apparently he's been snooping around our affairs. He's become somewhat problematic. He's got a really sharp head on his shoulders, this guy. I see. Ichigawa is currently assembling a team and making the target. Leave that up to Ichigawa for today. Get on it tomorrow. Got it. But... But... There is more. Alright, what is it? Oh man, come on game. Oh, look at this, yeah! Here's Morishima's boat! Oh my god, October 14th, 8.30 am. Pia. Paya. Oh my god, guys. Skate out, yeah, we are, we are doing a skate out in Morishima's, so close to Morishima's boat. Suki, hey, okay, we are here with Chigawa, yeah, this beautiful one. Oh man, but, oh fuck, come on Morishima, just go on, yeah, escape from these motherfuckers. Osato, hi Chigawa. How is it going? Suki-san, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm mobile enough. I see. In that case, good luck taking over. Yeah, fuck. Oh my god, Morishima. Run, please. Get out of this fucking place, please, Morishima. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, thanks. The tire left home last night. He came back home after walking around the world red light district. Really? Damn! So Morishima was fucking was fucking some horse? <laughs> God damn! This motherfucker. He didn't seek to exhibit any suspicious behavior. Ah! Oh, by home you mean that boat, right? Yeah. Mm hmm yeah. You're gonna say you wanna leave that, aren't you? Hmm. Oh no, the opposite actually. I can't stand boats. I get seasick. Uh, oh, do you know now? Do you know? Suki-san, are you thinking about something naughty? Maybe continue? Yeah? Oh yeah, sorry, please, go on. Anyway, he left again just a moment ago. Oh, it looks like he went out to buy groceries. He hasn't returned yet. Yeah, he has to buy some food for his daughter, right? You know? I see. Okay, I will take in from here. Thank you. Cold war. Alright then, let's go check out the Tiger's house before he gets back. Uh-huh, I don't feel so good. <laughs> don't worry, judging by its looks, it shouldn't rock too much. As long as I don't rock it, obviously. Oh, come on, please. Come on, we're going. Damn. Oh, come on, dude, the boat is just in, the, in there, just, just standing there. Come on. Tokyo's boat. What the fuck? I hope they won't, they won't steal their com his computer. <laughs> yeah, because that's the thing he he's doing all the time. Just looking at his uh, at his just looking at his computer. Fuck, it's pretty passe passable for a boat. Ah, Suki-san, look a turtle, a turtle. Yeah, a turtle red. So this little one saw these motherfuckers. Oh my god! I think we're gonna connect this shit with the, the next uh, report. That was the name of uh, that report. Next report. Suzuki, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, I'm gonna check it out later. But after the after finish this shit, we are gonna continue with that place. Okay, guys? Can I try and poke it? Ah, you can play with the turtle later. Yeah, come on. Stop. 
Stop doing some stupid things, dude. Okay, damn. I really wanna try and touch that turtle. Oh, this motherfucker. Alright, look. Suki-san. Huh? What's up? I found a copy of 25 today. Oh, okay, okay. Let me remember. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the... Um, this fucking newspaper, right? 25 today. Yeah, yeah, now remember. Sorry. Oh, okay, yeah. Because he's interested in this shit, right? So, Elvarian's party held at abandoned building. A huge hotel became quite the topic within the 25th world when it was first constructed. However, its parent company went bankrupt during construction and the partially complete hotel was abandoned. The Thousand Hotel, oh yeah, yeah, I remember this from about Nyko. It's, it is now a well known occult spot. The Silverians had been using the hotel as a place to change themselves into human form. Where is it worth that the Silverians were throwing a party at the hotel? Okay, don't tell me those motherfuckers. Yeah, remember those motherfuckers with the with the tongues? They were uh, spreading saliva? Don't tell me those were the Silverians. Yeah, these fucking aliens. What the fuck? For the reason they look so creepy. <laughs> there is a board that the Silverians were throwing a party at the hotel. Uh huh. Last night, while said party was being held, our reporters attempt to infiltrate the event. Unfortunately, they were stopped on by on duty security staff. And the plan was terminated. It was a, an unfortunate night indeed. However, once of our reporters managed to spot a mysterious figure heading towards the abandoned building, the figure was holding a shopping bag from a convenience store. And the probability that some the some sort of event was heading held increased. Was being held increased. If we happen to come up on this sort of tip again in the future, we grant our readers that we will not make the same mistake again and will provide a full report of the situation. Reported by Hatsuo Mikijima. Mm. Oh my god, anyway. Fuck, a communist store. Fuck. Mm -hmm. It was him. I'm gonna really bitch him now later. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, look. Uh, item? Uh, we don't have anything here, right? Yeah. Uh, let's look. Osato, that computer, check it out. Oh, fuck! Now they're gonna check out this his computer! Okay, alright, if you'll excuse me. Could you maybe not touch that? Oh, Morishima is here, right? <gasps> looks like he's back. Yeah, look at this! But he looks different, <laughs> look at him! Tokyo Morishima, right? Oh my god, he, you look pretty different, dude! <laughs> But look at his hair, he, uh, he looks like he has great hair Instead of the... The black one Anyway Who the hell are you people? Ah, oh, you look like burgers Oh yeah Sorry for the interruption Who are you? We're from the Regional Adjustment Bureau You've heard us of us, we... Yeah? I heard rumors so then you know why we are here, right? We would like to take the liberty of performing adjustment. Yeah, they are going to kill you, dude. But I would prefer not to. Yeah, you still have work to do. <laughs> That's your excuse. <laughs> oh my god, what a shit excuse you have, dude. They are going to kill you. What are you going to do? Well, adjustment is our job. So sorry, but get ready. Mm -hmm. Huh? Uh, Alright, they are speechless. Which is what I like to tell you. But there is one thing you can do to get out of this. Oh, oh, look at him. Hmm, he looks pretty tall, but oh man. What is it? You are gonna help us out. Oh, help? What do you mean? You are a pretty interesting guy. And you are a good reporter. Alright, so you are gonna forgive his life? Damn. I would be a bit of waste to have to adjust you. Yeah, come on, he's a uh, really interesting dude, you know? Even though he's a fucking asshole, but come on, he's lo looking at... Uh, uh, he's doing a lot of job to get more information about the... about the 25th Wars, Kamui, and all that shit, you know? He could be useful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I wanna... I want Morishima to be alive, you know? Anyway. 
so we would like to put your skills to good use for you, for us. You will pass whatever information you get to on, on to us, and we will remove free, remove you from the list of targets for adjustment. Mm. Like a dog keeping a dog. Yeah, what do you say, dude? No, exactly. In your case, it would be a turtle. Yeah, a turtle. <laughs> Turtles move pretty slowly. Then you're gonna have to be a fast moving turtle. <laughs> oh, yeah, the turtle guy. Yeah. You got two choices. Yeah. You wanna live? Or do you wanna die? What's it gonna be? I guess I'll decline. Huh? What, what do you mean? Isn't really something I can say at this point? Anyway, if I come ar around you guys, I get to hear lots of interesting stories and stuff, right? So we have a deal? Don't we? Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. <laughs> this is also was really back, uh, 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 but uh, yeah, he, just like him, yeah, just that's the same his lines, yeah. Ah, the same not good Morishima. <laughs> I'm Shinkai Suki, yeah. This is Yotaro Osato. Oh, Yotaro Osato. Okay, I think this is the first time we know he, their names, right? Shinkai and Yotaro. Hmm. Nice to meet you. Ah. As for the speci specifics and rules of our communication and the kind of information we need, we will go back to you soon. That's all for today. Don't let us down, Tokyo. See you later. Hold on. Uh, what? Do you know a guy named Yabukawa? Oh, yeah, 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 because uh, Yabukawa called him. Yeah, remember that. Well, I don't know, I think he was dying or he, he was dead already, but oh, he he got a call, yeah. You remember my episode? A call from another guy? Yeah. Suki-san, why does this guy know about Yabu-san? Yeah, we know him. So you do. I just had a hunch. How do you know Yabu-san? I never met him. Or maybe he have. Anyway, we had a bit of connection, of a connection. Oh, we will continue this next time. Okay. So yeah, you got some good hunch after all. Keep it up. <laughs> Osato, let's go. Ah, okay. Alright, that was cool. You didn't kill my dude. Great. Oh, Morishima, we are here with Morishima. Maybe this was Yabukawa's guiding me along. Mm hmm yeah, we are gonna see that shit in the next case, in the next report, dude, yeah, in Suzuki. So I'll see you there. If you, if so, then I owe him my thanks, yeah. Or maybe, I should curse him for it. <laughs> yeah, see you in the in Suzuki, dude, yeah. Alright, guys, oh, yeah, we are here at the office. Mm hmm October 7, 11 a.m. Regional Adjustment Bureau. Mm hmm at the office, come on, game. Yeah, oh man guys, okay, I'm gonna end it right here, yeah, this is a place to save, yeah, Osatoko is going, yeah, and um, I'll see you the next time, dude, yeah, so say, yeah, okay guys, so I'll see you in the next part, yeah, no, this side case called the Lunar Orbit, so thank you so much for watching this gameplay, like, giving a comment and subscribe, and stay tuned.